Let's take a peek at what it looks like to follow a route with Gaia GPS on an Apple Watch during a hike in Tucson's Tortolina Mountains. Here's a look at the official trail map, and the arrow points to where I am. Hiking northbound on the Hotel Spur Trail, just getting ready to intersect with the Upper Havelina Trail. Here's what the watch looks like. I am two one hundredths of a mile from the Upper Havelina and three quarters of a mile from the Wild Mustang intersection. If I swipe left to go to the next screen, I am six tenths of a mile and just under 20 minutes into my hike and I'm on a fairly level area with a 25 feet per mile grade. If I swipe left again, I get the map with the route shown in gray and my current location exactly in the middle of the screen. I was walking while recording this, so now I'm past the intersection and the next junction is 0.19 miles to bear right on the Wild Mustang. When you're all done with your journey, Gaia will log your trek to the health and workout apps, providing you permit Gaia access to these apps, which you'll be prompted for the first time you do it. It comes up in workouts of type Other and with the Gaia icon. If you tap on it, you'll get the full gamut of biometrics, including heart rate and calorie burn. Notice with the latter that it will not distinguish between active and total calories. Note that Gaia will also create a track of your voyage, which will appear on your iPhone and your desktop after your next sync. By the way, today's video was prepared using iOS 26.0.1, watchOS 26.0.2, and Gaia GPS for iOS 2025.9, all of which were the latest version at the time this video was created. As always, no support or compensation was received from Gaia for the making of this video. If you want to use Gaia on your watch, the first step is to create a Gaia GPS route of your voyage. There are tons of YouTube tutorials out there that will show you how to do this. But in summary, you just click on the map at a few key points and Gaia will follow any trails on the map to get you point-to-point -point routing. One thing I will mention is the watch app cannot reverse a route like the iPhone app can so you might want to make an out-and-back loop route. It's possible to use your phone to do the reversal and send it to the watch, but that seems overly complicated to me. Speaking of which, you can use your desktop to create the route and sync it with your phone, but you must use your Gaia on your iPhone to send it to your watch. Bring up the route on your phone and tap on the three dots labeled More and tap on send to watch. It's going to take a while to process it for your watch because it has to include all the required map segments, then download the whole mess to your watch. Eventually, it will tell you to open the Gaia watch app and syncing will finish up. When you tap navigate on your watch, the route will be there. Tap it Scroll up as far as you can and tap on Start Route when your adventure begins. So, is it worth using? I really like not having to pull my phone out of my pocket all the time, especially when my hands are full when I'm backpacking with trekking poles or canoeing with a paddle, where I also have to be concerned with dropping my phone in a lake. The map is kind of small. But with turn-by-turn -turn directions, I don't often need to really look at a map. There are some real issues with the watch app that I wish Gaia would fix. The route is gray on the map, which makes it hard to see, and it's missing the green dot that shows my current location. Waypoints aren't visible on the map, and when I tried to create one on my watch, the app froze. The track stats are missing the green labels showing what the numbers mean, and the map screen jitters. It seems to be flashing between a checkerboard pattern and the map itself. One of the main reasons I use Gaia is because of their great map selection, but unfortunately the watch is limited to Gaia Topo. 
Last but not least, the battery drain is pretty high. I used a third of my battery in an hour-long hike, but I suppose the watch is using the GPS a lot to create the track. If Gaia could fix these problems, it would be a real winner. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if it was useful, please click like or subscribe below. Happy hiking!